Well, welcome to an original episode for once. Not a, a port over from a stream. An actual episode of me just playing a game. Alright, so this game West of Loathing. I don't know much about this game. It looked pretty interesting. Decided to grab it. Um, I, okay, I think I just destroyed some clouds in the background. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Alright, I just uh, changed it back, whatever. That was an odd delay. I had the strangest dream. I was choosing a character class. Well, what would I reckon to be? A cow puncher, a bean slinger, or a snake oiler? Now, I, I don't understand any of, <laughs> any of what's happening, but I have to pick one. Um, I don't know about you, but it's always been a dream of mine to punch cows. That cow wants it. Look at him. He's like, oh, are you, are you saying I ain't good enough, cow? Bam! Fucking spin your head around. Look at these. And he didn't need nods in approval. Hell yeah. I'm a cow puncher. Cow punchers solve the problems with a fist. Whether it's shaking them at a disagreeable fella in a rep disreputable saloon, or using the punch a slightly more disagreeable fella in a slightly less reputable saloon. <laughs> You've heard that cow punchers are in demand out west since the cows came home, which stands to reason the cows aren't going to punch themselves after all. <laughs> uh, okay, so that one's fist is what I'm looking at, so let's see, if I, I press two, oh, I can press two, that's fine. Uh, magic and cooking are inextricably, inextricably, magic and cooking are inextricably intertwined and loaded, and the bean slinger is a mystical master of both. You've heard there's a shortage of cooks out the west since the cows came home. Dude, most of the cooks haven't been brutally killed by the cows. I really, I really feel like I should be punching these cows, just killing cooks now. Snake oilers rely on their moxie and chutzpah to tame snakes. <laughs> Sorry, I, I knew that I had to do the phlegm. <laughs> it's like kind of just coming up there. Their fearlessness to extract potent oils from those snakes and their cleverness to manufacture and sell potions made from those oils. You've heard snake oilers are doing really well out there since the cows came home. Everybody needs potions and hope in these days, or dark days, right? And also out west is where all the best snakes live. That's odd. Why, is the cow Why do the cows always come home? I don't know, I feel like I need to punch these cows. They keep coming out and doing stuff. These cows ain't gonna punch themselves. You know what I'm saying, fella? Oh, that's my room. That's a nice picture of the controls, so that way he never forgets. This weird poster appeared here one night. <laughs> it just, it just happened. Goodbye, bed. Time to head west to change my or chase my real dreams. I'm just gonna have the worst uh, trouble reading things because I am, I am just really dumb. I didn't, I didn't click on the poster so. You read the spine of one of your books. Edith Jones in the Secret of Skeleton Mansion. Love that one. Read another title. Trouble at the Spooky Canyon. That one was one of my favorites. Pearl Drew in the Dark Grove. Dad gave me this one when I was a kid. Nora Jones in the Terrible City. Mom made me this one a few years ago. Annie Bobsy in the Trouble at Vampire Forest. I remember that one. Oh hey, this one might come in handy. You got an item. Walking Stupid. <laughs> Walking Stupid? What the hell? This book tells the tale of a renegade sheriff who was really, really bad at walking. Unlock stupid walking as an option. You read the book cover to cover and learn how to walk really stupidly. It's been set to my options menu? Oops, you accidentally dropped the book and then ruined it by stepping on it 30 times while you're trying to pick it up. <laughs> okay, alright. I guess that's fair. Stupid walking. Some of them aren't even really walks. It looks like it's on right now. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I'm walking here. Can't you see me walking here? Goodness. Is this how it's gonna be? Comb hair? Sure. Goodbye, desk. You comb your hair one last time. Oh. Nothing else? Goodbye, phonograph. You pull the needle away from the cylinder and stow the handle away. Oh my god! 
What's this bird? Hey, Russell. How you doing? I'm going to miss you, buddy. Feed, feed him a cricket. You grab a cricket from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He coos appreciatively and nuzzles your hand. Goodbye, Russell. Be good. Maybe it's time for you to leave, too. Uh, we got we to gotta let him out. We got to let him out. The bird cage sings to be free. Fly, little man, fly. You open your bedroom window, not pictured, and unlatch the... N <laughs> Wait, what? You open your bedroom window, not pictured, huh? and unlatch the door to Russell's cage. He winks at you, calls one last time, then flies away to the west. <laughs> <laughs> time to hit the trail. Well, goodbye. What's his name again? I don't know. I think it was Russell. What's this? What a mess. Stack the firewood. Eh, I got some XP for that. Nothing on the hat rack today. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> I love stupid walking. This hearth really puts the hearth in hearth and home. Huh? <laughs> You're gonna miss mom's cooking. Well, it's mom's pie safe. It keeps all her pies safe. This, uh, <laughs> you'll miss meals with the family. I don't know, man. Just simply amazing. Oh, my family's farm. Why would I want to leave if I have a farm? What's this? Oh, that's cool. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No time to screw around in the woods. Time to head west. Your mom smile. Good job, me. Your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, Ma. We're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. A present? Yep, it's that book you wanted from for Crimbo. <laughs> what the fuck's Crimbo? I know it's early, but the one's about picking locks? Oh boy. The one about dirt, desert survival? Oh boy. The one about bartering? Oh boy. I'm guessing I had to pick one of these three for some skills. Um, Got a feeling that picking locks will help out a lot. The one about picking locks? Oh boy. That's the one. Enjoy it. You got an item, locks, and how to pick them. Please be careful out there. Write us a letter when you can. She hugs you. I will, Mom. <laughs> Goodbye. What the fuck is happening over there? <laughs> Trying to have a sad conversation here. Alright. This book is a comprehensive guide to advanced lock picking techniques. It's got a whole chapter on tumblers. Okay, so that gives us a skill. You quickly met memorize the entire book. Got a skill, lockpick and expertise. Nice. After you're done reading it, you donate it to a local orphanage. Soon those orphans will be able to make their escape. <laughs> go orphans, go! <laughs> I'm rooting for you, orphans. Your father morosely jabs at the haystack. That hat doesn't fit you, Dad. Time for me uh, Let's go with that hat doesn't fit you. I'll grow into it. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it's time for me to leave. His lips quivers a little. Listen, I want you to have this. It's grandmother's brass knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> Thank him. Thanks, Dad. Good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I did. Goodbye, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just crawl away from my dad now. Dig, uh, dig through it? Yeah. Hey, you got a <laughs> you you found the needle in the haystack. It's not for sewing. It's for picking locks. <laughs> Amazing. Is that my brother? Your brother Rufus is standing here and looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. Give him his puzzle back. Yeah, I do that. You hand him the puzzle and he starts fidgeting with it. Say goodbye. Hey, Rufus. Time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. He's got a point, you know. Why are you going west anyway? Uh, is it to help people? To seek my fortune? To get off this stupid farm? Um, I'm a good person. So it's obviously to seek my fortune. There's just no opportunity here, kid. If I'm going to make something of myself, i got to go where I can make some meat. What the hell? Oh, wait, what? What's... Wait, meat is food. What? But it's so dangerous. 60% of the people who go west get killed within a year and that statistic is from before the cows came home there there's a lot of cows am i getting like 
meat from cows or is that like the currency? I don't know. I'll be okay. You worry about taking care of mom and dad. I'll worry about me. Okay, if you say so. I, st I still think you'll be dead by Crimbo. What the hell is Crimbo? Is that Christmas? I'll miss you, Rufus. Okay. <laughs> you give him a playful punch in the arm. Ow! I that was not a playful punch on the arm. Leave. Look at that, look at that funny walk. All right, let's take. Let's just. Uh, now nah, we can keep it. What the hell is nerd mode? This plays a log describing what happens in combat. Okay, oh, I don't like that. Best font mode. Oh, mm, no, let's not. Save inventory options. Color blind mode. You never know. But it's. It's black and white. Alright, whatever then. Go west, young man. Yes! I will go west. To fulfill my destiny. Of getting a lot of meat. For whatever reason. Hitching a ride across the Great Plains. Oh, he's just okay. So this game is really, really funny. As you can tell, look at this guy. He's in the of Victor. Ha ha! He's funny. Nah, it is, it is kind of funny though, like, I'm having a pretty good time already. I'm not gonna skip the opening credits, get that out of here. Get that out of here! There's a lot of carrots here. If I, uh... If I move around, does it do anything? Nope, no it does not. What's a key grip? I don't know what that means. I guess like a boom operator? Okay, now I'm trying to think that. <laughs> 200 miles later. Wow, where the hell was he? Actually, he wasn't that far. 200 miles is actually not that far. Dirt water, 300 miles. Oh no, your carrots. Well, the bad news is that you fell off that cart and got knocked out for a couple of hours. Now you've got no ride, no meat, and no prospects. The good news, the good news is that you're in a town, rather than a gulch somewhere. Not much of a town, though. Get up and dust yourself off. Oh. Hey, this is uh, some guy. A turnip. Oh, they're turnips. That makes sense. He's got a dusty turnip. Can of have a drink. <coughs> Privacy. Want to know a <coughs> secret? Well, too bad. He's <laughs> fucking. <laughs> yeah. That that's uh, that's gonna hurt. It's a chunk of wood from the broken hitching post. Got a broken board? All right. So the dusty turnip, turnip covered in grit, increases your muscle mystic mysticality and moxie by one for the rest of the day. Oh, okay. Um, speak softly and carry a crude stick. Oh, does some pretty good uh good stuff there. Looks like my brass knuckles are stronger. Thanks, Grandma. These were your grandmother's brass knuckles. Your grandmother was a force to be reckoned with. You're telling me. BS horse ring? The sound of the door reads gone drinking. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off silly walking. It's too funny. I can't concentrate. Yuck. I'm guessing that's poop. Alright, there's a bar here, so let's just go inside and check it out. As you walk into the saloon, the crazy-eyed guy sitting to the left of the door shrieks and waves at you, getting your attention. Hey! What your hat, dang nabbit? Well, I, you can't drink in here without a hat. Taint proper. I don't know why he went Irish. He points to the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. <laughs> sure, check out the box. You look through the hat box and find a sturdy-looking set Stetson. That looks like something you'd wear. Yeah, grab it. You got an item, four gallon hat. Hey, you grab the hat and put it on. Thanks, uh, Pete. Thanks, Pete. He gives you a friendly, if somewhat twitchy, nod. Say, fella. Uh, yeah? You head west. If you want some company, I'd be more than well happy sorry, to come along. Just let me know. Well, uh, no pressure. Alright, I'll keep it in mind. I'm g <laughs> I think it's that guy. I like those hats. No, that's not what I want to do. I want to go to the hats. Where do you have a hat? What would you do with two? Got a point there. Um, okay. That was weird. 
Oh, like a map. The town of Boring Springs. That's where I'm at. Make your own damn guide to Boring Springs and its environs. Circa 1890. Yeah, look at that. Alright then. Oh, look, spit. It's a spittoon. People spit into it. You know, without even looking in it, that is absolutely disgusting. Look in it or ignore it. Tch, wouldn't be an adventure game if we didn't look inside a spittoon. Yeah, it's full spit. Regular spit. Gross tobacco spit. Chewing gum. And it even looks like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting. And the smell, even from a distance, it smells horrible. Uh, yeah, look closer. You are now on your hands and knees, peering into a filthy, crusted spittoon. I don't, I don't understand what is wrong with you. Wait, is there something shining at the bottom? Get it. You reach your hand toward the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air. Like greasy fog enveloping the stinky brass horror. It smells like the vomit through at tro sorry, trow, eh, at a mesquite barbecue eating contest. You hesitate. Never mind. Never surrender. You plunge your hand into the awful soup. It makes it sound like... <laughs> like lop. Your skin is burning. Your eyes start to water. Just search for it. Just come on. Oh, your fingers make contact with something. You pull your hand out of the devil's tureen <laughs> slowly, not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. You appear to have gotten some kind of ring. Probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations. Nasty ring. All right. Uh, there it is. Hey, it gives us one of everything. Though getting the, this ring was traumatic, you have to admit that it was worth it. Was it though? I don't, I don't know if it completely was.